let's get going. Okay, okay cool. So, um, David, welcome to Restation Podcast. Thank you. And it's awesome to have you here. Thank you very much for saying yes to my invitation. It's awesome to be here. <laughs> yeah, Have okay. I said no to something that you requested? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think that's the good part about you. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> that's what I really like. Okay, so uh, today we're having uh, David Moore. And uh, he's definitely one of my recent favorite residents uh, because uh, David is doing a whole bunch of cool projects. And uh, um, he says that he's kind of marketing expert, oh, but uh, I don't know what you are exactly. So, yeah. you know, like uh, um, just uh, go, and ha go ahead and introduce yourself what you do. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as you said, I'm David. I'm from Israel. And uh, the past six years, I'm doing like all online marketing. So basically, we uh, specialize in Facebook marketing, copywriting, and some technology stuff. And uh, yeah, that's it. Why it's kind of a marketing because we still have like you know our own goals and our own uh, things that we want to achieve. And uh, until the, like we are still in the process of uh, building a business that could sustain us for uh, long term. And uh, that's why I said like kind of a marketing. Expert, yeah. Because it's a journey. I'm still not the marketing expert. Okay. Okay. There's so so what is what is for you like you know like when you're gonna drop the kinda from your description because never. I mean no okay never, never. okay yeah. okay it's okay. an ongoing process. I hope always. it's not a stigma. Why? Why stigma? No, no, <laughs> no, no. I hope it's not. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah. So, like you know, uh, basically, in a sentence, uh, if you are to describe you what you do to uh, to a six year old, would yeah. you ever? I don't know. Probably you wouldn't say info products or funnels, but like, how would you? How would you describe? Oh, like, what do you actually sell? One. That's a good one. So we sell. We give. We don't sell. We give solutions. Uh -huh. to uh, very uh, common problems. Uh -huh. That's that's how I would uh -huh. explain it. Yeah. And what's your niche? Uh, we have different niches. Uh, basically, we are very big in the diet industry, diet uh -huh. and health and fitness industry. So business development as well. And people want to travel the world and make money online. So uh -huh. we teach them the basics as well. And we have some more smaller niches, but uh, nah, nothing yeah. really special. And so, like you say, we, like, you work with your business partner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of my bef best friends and a business partner. He's in Croatia now. Okay. So both of us are like traveling as digital nomads. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's just the two of us. Right, right, right. So you know, like, uh, when did you like? What's what's your story? So like, how did you actually start the remote journey? Did you and what did you have before mm -hmm. before that? What did okay. you do? So I'll 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 squeeze it to a short part because okay. okay. you said like yeah from the from when we started traveling. So we've been traveling in the past eighteen months. Uh -huh. And uh, we in, in like online business for six years, but the first four years we had no idea what we were doing. So we were trying to do everything like affiliate marketing and building websites and and consultant and like everything, but nothing uh -huh. really worked. We couldn't build something that could um, stay scale? for yeah, that could scale. That, that's a good one, but that could uh, stay with us for a longer period of time without. Um, when it doesn't matter how much time we invest. So we wanted to break this, you know, uh, paradigm of time costs money. Like time equals yeah. money. Yeah. So we wanted to break this uh, equation. Uh, so we started traveling the past, uh, in September 2016, mm -hmm. both of us standing in the airport, you know, no money in the bank, like minus, never mind how much, and three loans in the bank, and like standing there with two bags and uh, with no place to go back to. Yeah, so... 18 months ago, yeah. airport, yeah. loads of loans in the bank, yeah. loads of bags, yeah. nowhere to, Nowhere go, back to, to go back to. Yeah. So, yeah. And, uh, and the first destination was Budapest. Uh -huh. uh, so again, we knew nobody there. We had no friends, no, no one to, to count on. And uh, the only option was, you know, to, to succeed. So we, would, we took a really awesome co-work space there. We have really good friends from Budapest. And we would, I remember this, I would wake up 7.30, 8.15, I'm already with the computer open in the co-working space. Walking all the way up to uh, 11, 30, 12, you know, like 14, 15 hours a day for three months, every day, no weekends, no parties, no nothing. Like that. So this is this was the first like uh, experience. How many a, how many months was that in Budapest? Three months. Okay. Three months. And did you have a plan basically in Budapest? So, uh, uh, no. Like, did you actually know where you're going with this, or you were still like trying to break the mm -hmm. equation of 
time equals money. Yeah, so we, we kind of knew what we were supposed to do because the first four years, we really had no idea. But that 2016, from like June, July, we started uh, implementing Facebook ads to our like um, building and, uh, and um, a community online. Okay, so building a, an email subscription list. And mm -hmm. this was like the whoa moment. Like, oh, you can actually accumulate people, like make followers that are following you because you give them good value and then they're buying your product. And you can actually build a... Um, like a communication funnel with them where you can sell them over and over and over again, give them more and more and more value and like create a business from it. So that was like the whoa moment where we said, okay, we need to put all our effort into uh, getting really, really good in Facebook marketing to build our email subscription list because each other person that comes into your list mm -hmm. is more uh, money okay. for your pocket. Okay. Yeah. And more, uh, yeah. Okay. So basically, did you already have products when you started, like, you know, like back to the back to your days in Budapest? Did you already have the product that you're working on? Yeah, so we did it the opposite way because we first had the email subscription list where we built with uh, just giving free value and free content, a lot of it for two years, and we didn't know what to do with it. So uh, then in Budapest, after a month and a half, we built our first uh, digital product which made us like really good sum of money because we had the base, because we had the people that trusted yeah. us. We had like really good relationships with them. They knew us, they liked us, and they trusted us, which is right. uh, very What was important. your first product then? Uh, so it was uh, health and fitness. Uh -huh. It was 28 days of, course. of, yeah, of course, online. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, like, uh, what was, do you, do you remember when you started, what was your overall volume of people that you could touch the base with? I mean, like, across different channels, yeah. like, uh, emails and Facebook 16, groups. 16,000. 16,000. 16,000, that was the number. Uh, and they converted. Yeah. Not all of them, yeah. But, oh, of course, uh, yes. In the first 14 days, I think about uh, 110 people. Bought it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a $75 course. Okay. And the first 14 days, only with our email subscription, subscription right. list, we did uh, yeah, 110 sales. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. So then from there on, uh, what did you decide to do with this? You know, like, you know, okay, so now you had 128 people that bought it and uh, you got your aha moment. Uh -huh. So... What did you What did you say? You know, yeah. Like, so now it's like, how can we make it bigger? How can we make it like more and more and more of that specific thing? So uh, we understood that we need to put our effort in three different things. First, bringing more traffic because the the one the most important thing online. It doesn't matter how you make money: Shopify, Amazon, digital products, selling physical products. It doesn't matter. You need to know how to bring traffic. Traffic is the business. That, like it's the base. Yeah. If you don't have traffic. Let's say we see it now with Amazon. Amazon Clicks is getting very, very expensive and people don't know how to, what to do about yeah. it. It's not, uh, it's, uh, it is not as worth it as it used to be now to pay Amazon Clicks because uh, yeah, it's too expensive. So when you know how to bring your own traffic, you, you, are not, uh, you can just do whatever you want online. So the first thing was how we can bring more traffic and how, what's the best tool right now to do it is Facebook mm -hmm. ads. And the second thing is how to build better relationships. So mm -hmm. it's uh, copywriting and, and creating content, free content, and how to, uh, how to build all the funnel from the moment a person gets to know you until the moment he says, like, okay, I have to take out my credit card now and pay this guy because yeah. X, Y, Z. And the third part is, like, just automating stuff. Yeah. So yeah. This, this is, like, technological stuff. This is the easiest thing and the thing that you need to... Uh, put the least effort into yeah so, so what is the, like what is that third part about is it about like the technicalities be between like sorry behind the funnels or is it about like technicalities behind the products or? it depends ab uh, about your business so mm -hmm. it can be like um, landing pages or where are you going to store your product or uh, are you using Vimeo or YouTube? Okay. It's simple things, okay. nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing uh, very important. Yeah, but you know, like this is really interesting because online when you go to a lot of uh, remote work and digital nomad groups, there's mm -hmm. a lot of conversation. Oh, what's your favorite tool? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> because people tend to put the uh, focus on something that is not very important. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Because doing the, 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 the hard stuff is hard, you know. Of What's course. easy to do is it's easy not to do as well because uh, 
when they need to put their time and effort and money into Facebook ads and learning copywriting and bettering yeah. their product, they go to tools. I don't know. Yeah. I never found a tool that changed the whole business. Like, wow. So are there any tools for bringing perpetual traffic? that you kind of discovered, you know, because as you said, traffic is the hard stuff. Yeah. So like, you know, like what's your learning about like, uh, uh, I don't know, let's say Facebook ads and ads in general. That's like, is did you get any other aha moments in terms of traffic, in terms of bringing more traffic? Mm, uh, we are very rookies in this. And uh, the basic, basic, basic thing you need to know is just like use Facebook Pixel. This is this is <laughs> the best tool ever. This is the only tool you need because Facebook is such a strong tool that you, you can, when you give it the right da data, Facebook is like data driven. When you give it the right data, let's say when you give it enough clicks or enough conversions or enough traffic or enough co uh, impressions, then it does everything for you. It will give you the people that will most probably sign up or engage or purchase. And when you get to a, to a, to a place where you, you can actually pay Facebook money per purchase, this is the best thing ever. Wow, yeah. okay. Especially in, in, uh, in dropshipping or in just like uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, brands, branding and like Amazon and Shopify. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so at the moment, like, you know, where you, are, where you are at with your business, like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, building more products and like, I don't know how many products you have currently. Yeah. And how much did you grow since your the f since your first aha? <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's been more than a year and a half, and uh, we're now with forty five thousand people on our email uh -huh. subscription list. Everybody are based in Israel, so we we're, we're very like yeah. one location. Uh, we have eight different digital products mm -hmm. between twenty five bucks and up to seven hundred bucks. And um, yeah, so we are trying to automate as much as we can in this specific niche in Israel and we want to go expanding the global niche because uh, when, your, uh, when your audience is very small, so mm -hmm. it's very difficult to uh, scale. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to use uh, what we learned the past two to six years to scale like our mm -hmm. own uh, capabilities. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the global niche, the mm -hmm. global market and start implementing Shopify or Amazon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, your current idea is to keep your market where they are. I mean, mm -hmm. like not go into different geographies, but maybe add in more products to that. Uh, maybe I, I'm not sure because um, yeah, it depends. We're not yeah. we're not a hundred percent sure about yeah. that. First, we we still have to do some planning about our yeah. own business and see. What way is it better to put our focus on? Yeah. But uh, always remember to like this business is what uh, gives us the opportunity to travel the world and like yeah. sit three hours on the computer a day and make money. So we don't wanna uh, you know keep it behind. We still wanna. So like you just said that you know like uh, you can work three hours a day or mm -hmm. so there is no more loan in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> No more loan in the bank. And uh, yeah, it's like automatically I say three hours a day, but I work yeah, I more than that. Yeah, I know that you work a lot still. Yeah, I work more than that because I want to grow. Like yeah. I can I can sustain myself with traveling to different yeah. countries and like not growing anymore. But when you're staying in one place, you're going backwards because the market is changing and it gets more exp expensive to bring traffic and so many things are changing. If you're staying in one place, you're going backwards. So we need yeah. to... You mean staying in one place, obviously not physically, but no, with no, your no. business. Yes, yeah, with yeah. The business. So yeah. you always have to keep advancing and mm -hmm. implementing. Yeah. All right. All right. And so like, you know, the question about niches. So you said that uh, basically you're in three, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So why, why this choice? And like, why did you actually go for three? Why mm -hmm. you didn't put all your effort, let's say, in dieting when you just, when you first started? Yeah. So uh, that's a funny story because we didn't want to start with the diet niche. We oh. stumbled upon it and all of a sudden we started accumulating more and more people into the email subscription list. Then we said, okay, we're good at this, so, so let's, let's grow this. Let's make uh, products, let's do uh, collaborations, let's make money out of it. Uh, and only when we got really, really, really good in, those, in these three topics like Facebook marketing, copywriting and the technological stuff, only then we decided, okay, we can do this with other, with other businesses. We can mm -hmm. actually teach people how to do this. So we, so our first customer, who, who she is our customer for the past uh, year and a half, 
Uh, she actually grew her business from, let's say, seven and a half thousand dollars per month to almost eighty thousand per month. Okay, only with Facebook marketing. Wow, that's the only okay. thing that we implemented in her business. We were bringing a lot of people who were interested in what she was mm-hmm. selling. She's a psychologist, and uh, and her business just blew up, and this was amazing. So we said, okay, if we can do it with her, we can do it with more people. Okay. And that's how we went into these uh, two new niches. We said, like, uh, what would make us feel good about ourselves? Like, who can we help more? So, first of all, we are youngsters, okay? So, uh, if we can teach young in- entrepreneurs or people who work from 9 to 5, how they can, like, uh, break this equation and do something they actually love or mm-hmm. go travel. So, how would they can do it with uh, learning very simple skills and do freelancing or even mm-hmm. building their own business. And then business owners who are like, can't manage the whole stress of like, you know, paying mm-hmm. taxes and being the, the professional and I don't mm-hmm. know, doing the whole business. So how can we help them uh, automate their business a little bit and make more money or use some automatic mm-hmm. uh, tools? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, like what's, uh, how did you discover your first niche? So the, the diet, like the, the fitness and dieting, what was yeah. the process behind it? Did you just uh, throw it to the people and like, uh, uh, just uh, what was the process, you know? Because I think yeah. when people want to start, it's like really important to mm-hmm. t- to know where to start yeah. or it was just random. So I, I would say something completely different from what yeah. I did because I would I read uh, Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why. So uh-huh. it's always yeah, like, I you know, the, the book, yeah. yeah, it's an amazing one. Like the three circles, why, how, what. So we always want to start with why are we doing what we're doing? And it's not money because money is the result, but why, like what's the, what's the belief behind what we're doing? Uh, and then how and then what? But we started complete opposite. Like I was really into fitness and health and stuff. And we were working with a company uh, which was in this specific niche. And then we said, how can we market the product? And then we said, okay, we can do it online. So we started putting some content online and we saw that people were very interested. So we continued with that. Then we stopped working with them and uh, we just said, okay, we can continue in this niche. Mm -hmm. And that's how we built like one of the biggest uh, online course, like free course that continued for two months. And we brought brought, like 55 different uh, professionals to give talks for free, totally for free. And we said, wow, this is crazy, amazing. We gave so much content, so much value. We got like 500 emails saying, thank you very much for all of this. Then we said, okay, we can make a business out of this. So that's how we started. But this is completely different from what I would say with the start with why, because sometimes when you're like thinking about, okay, why am I sitting here at, I don't know, 1 a.m. and trying to make this work? Yeah. If you don't have a strong why, it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you would like, now you would still say like start with a strong why. Yes. So yeah. that's why kind of a, you added several other niches because that's, is that responding more yes. to your why? Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Do you see yourself adding any other niches or kind of a more going in depth with those that you already have? So, but, so in Israel, we would go in depth with these ones. Um, but in the global market, we're going to bring new niches. Okay. okay. We're just doing marketing research now. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But like for those that you already have, is there a space for new products? Always. Yes. Always. Always. Okay. Always new products because there's, first of all, there's only always new people that need solutions to their problems. So you can have different prob- different products with different problems. Mm-hmm. And uh, and people, it's like layers of problems, let's say for business owners. So mm-hmm. one product would be how to do your avatar and the other product would be how to create the best uh, marketing funnel and the other product would be how to create the best, uh, how to make your Facebook ads work for you. Mm-hmm. So many different. what like, but how many pro- products do you think it takes to start actually an online business? One. Okay. Nothing more. One product. One and product. then see how it goes. Yeah, it will work if you do it correctly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Five easy steps. Five easy uh, yeah. steps. That's right. Okay. Let's uh, just quickly, you know, like mm-hmm. uh, go to the tools. Like, yeah. you know, the easiest part of it, apparently. Okay. <laughs> so what's your favorite tools that you use for your business? So we, you need an autoresponder mm-hmm. and you need a, um, something that could, uh, you can build uh, landing pages on and, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, sales pages on. Uh-huh. So you can use um, MailChimp mm-hmm. for that. This is like very easy, very cheap. 
Mm-hmm. Mailchimp. Mailchimp, yeah. Yeah, and you can use uh, Russell Brunson's, um, what's it called? ClickFunnel. Yeah, okay. It's very easy to use that one. We're using Israeli companies now, mm-hmm. so uh, people would probably yeah, not, yeah, probably not, yeah. not know <laughs> it. Yeah, so no. So use these two, because I hear a lot of people use them. This is the very basics. Yeah. Nothing more than that. Like where you can put your content online, like a small blog or something. WordPress is not needed anymore because this is... Yeah. People, again, don't put too much time into technology stuff because it's not the thing that matters the most. Yeah. And do you use any tools for your traffic for like, I mean, uh, except Facebook Pixel? I mean, uh, Ads like, Manager, that's yeah. it. Nothing more. So, like, there is no magic. It's just, like, knowledge and practice. Yeah, practice. A lot of practice and learning the psychology behind it and using different uh, psychological principles. And Yeah. yeah. So, um, like, what's the easiest way to learn about the psychology of people and how they buy and what they're going to buy? Yeah, read the, the book Influence of Robert Cialdini. This okay. is, this is the, the best way because he talks about the six principles. Uh, and then... Just try, try mm-hmm. and try and try, and d- know your customer. This mm-hmm. is the best way. Once you know your customer, what he's scared of, what he really wants, what makes him wake up in the morning sweating and need and really needing to buy your product or finding a solution to his problem, then you can like really create content that could help him. And mm-hmm. uh, and, and how do you look at you know? competition online be- be- in between different marketers like do you know your competitors and do you actually care about them mm-hmm. so uh, we used to collab with all of, like how we started was using our competitors like oh, we had mm-hmm. nothing in the beginning so we saw one guy from Russia he did an online convention with he brought 35,000 people and that was the thing that made him a millionaire this was the, his first convention about online marketing so we said we can implement this in Israel. So we took like uh, six different people that we didn't even know. We called the, f- the first one. We said you should come and join our, uh, our online convention. And he said, why should I? And we said, because he's going to join. Then we called him and we said, you should join. And he said, why? Because the other one is joining. And then we used all of our competitors and we uh, used basically their, their uh, content and their communities to build our own. So uh, that's how we started. So I don't see them as competitors, but as people who helped me to grow my own business. Wow, fantastic. Up so now you kind of know yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Know them and yes. Okay, okay. So, and do they know, do they know you now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they know me. Yeah, they All know right, me. We, I know them. Funny. And yeah, and but um, you can either choose to use other people. Yeah. Like, not use, but... Yeah. yeah, collab. Yeah, collab with them or just learn from the beginning how to use Facebook ads to bring your own traffic. Okay, okay. Well, which is probably harder um, if you're not experienced marketer. Yeah, so... If you're kind of marketing expert. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I always say that we are... We are um, we are like shrinking the amount of time that person needs from starting from scratch until the like the moment he succeeds. Because we tried so many things and we know what you shouldn't do. So maybe the best way is just pay someone to teach you how to market on Facebook, and he will save you so much time and money. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the best. I think it's yeah. start with that. Like so, pay someone to teach you how to do that, and then you won't waste time and you won't. Waste, uh, waste yeah. money and for sure for sure yeah. so do you guys teach in uh, uh for uh, do you teach in english or do you teach in hebrew or like you know what's your course uh only in hebrew we teach okay. only in hebrew and yeah. what's the you know like what's your format for example just to give like you know like a because you surely did your research mm-hmm. about the global competitors of you know like uh, among people who also teach to make money online what's your format how do you do it is it a book is it a call so, like, we have different uh-huh. vari- like variations. We have a book format, and then we have the course. It's like sixty different uh, videos. They yeah. teach everything okay. from how to do your avatar to how to create your freebie, your content to how to create your Facebook ads to how to create your like email subscriptions sequence and stuff mm-hmm. to how to create your first product. Okay, this is like the five steps you need for every everything. Right. All right, so. Okay, basically, um, is that also like, you know, is it the sequence how people should start? I mean, like, you know, uh, now kind of, you know, wrapping it up and uh, if somebody wants to do what you guys are doing, so kind of sell digital products online and uh, breaking the equation of time equals money, what are like, you know, the the steps to go through? So uh, uh, traffic, 
Yeah, but first, first understanding that uh, you need three things, uh -huh. which are Facebook marketing, copywriting, and a little bit of technology. Once you have these three uh -huh. implemented, like you know them really good, yeah. you can make money in every diff like in every niche. It doesn't matter Amazon, Shopify, digital products, physical products, everything. And now you need to start implementing like ask yourself how do you want to do it do you want to do a digital product or do you want to do a physical product you you decide on the niche and now you start yes so first of all is who are you selling to mm -hmm. yeah, this is the most important don't go don't go on without knowing who are you selling to who is he where is he from uh, age looks everything uh, fears uh, wishes fears, everything yeah. everything know your customer very very good then the second the, the the second part would be creating the free content, creating the the bribe, mm -hmm. how to bring people to like you know first impression, sure. give good first impression, and then they will uh, stick to you. The third part would be implementing the Facebook marketing mm -hmm. or the collaborations of like free traffic. I wouldn't suggest free traffic because it just takes mm -hmm. time, and people say like ah it doesn't work. I don't know why. No, yeah. go with paid traffic. Even use influencer marketing. Just. If you know that you're selling, let's say, uh, um, um, a short for a mother who has a newborn baby, mm -hmm. so go to an influencer and say, how much would it cost to, to market to your 5,000, yeah. 500,000 people? And they will say a price and you pay it because it's going to be worth it. Okay. Yeah. And then you have the email sequence, like the email marketing part. And the last part is your product. Right. So, uh, okay, cool. So, you know, like my probably like just like last thing is uh, what do you think is your biggest achievement with your business? Mm -hmm. So like from the time when you started with like loads of loans to now, I don't know if it's financial, I don't know if it's in numbers, just like, you know, something. What do you think is your biggest thing? I think that the the online convention that we did for two months with 55 uh, professionals and like eight to 10,000 participants, that was the biggest thing. It had no money involved in it, nothing. It was all for free. And that this was like very big for us. It, we put it so much time and effort into it and like um, getting these emails of, you know, thank you and stuff. This was bigger than anything. Like we, we, we passed the first million like a couple of months ago uh, with the digital products. And uh, this was like, okay, you know, it was like marking it as, because Okay, interesting, yeah. interesting. All right. That's yeah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you very much for being here thank you, Maria. and uh best of luck. High yes. five. <laughs>